Yeah, my the first time I ever watched this was on a an Italian balcony. How many balcony. times have you been on vacation? He's got a, a lot. Rich family. Yeah. My God. I mean, I'm only in Idaho right now, so yeah, it's, it's just Idaho compared to Italy. Wait, where are you? What state do you live in? Connecticut. That's like right, you know what? I, I don't know anybody who nah. lives in Connecticut. What did nothing say? Billy's girlfriend. Well, Billy's ex-girlfriend. Oh, ex is his girlfriend? Yeah, I'm sorry to break the news to you guys. We have this happening. It was ex the whole time. Damn. Yeah, Wait, which one of them forgot to be gay? Uh, Scorpion. Didn't like two of them turn out to be gay? Scorpion is somebody else though, right? Um, Dante? I mean, yeah, Dante. Dante, Dante wasn't a closet gay. He was a very open public about it in the start. He didn't actually officially announce it was really. I know there was someone else, but I can't think of him. X? Yeah, probably X. Yeah, I mean, he likes the I remember he was talking just... about how his... I remember he was talking about, like, how his news team, like, got an award or something. And I, I still don't know if that was a yeah. But, but I looked it up, and, like, the guy that he censored out was, like, this big fat dude. Which I assume is, uh, Dante. Like, this Peter Griffin-looking guy. Yeah, but he's I from Rhode Island, which is where Peter's from. I still don't... I still don't know if that was a shit post though, because I don't... I don't know. He could very well be fat. I mean, I've heard him speak before, you know, he's got this deep Italian mobster voice. So, that wouldn't surprise me at the slightest. Yeah. Like, well, he, was, he was like Peter Griffin. He was like Peter Griffin fat, not like Tony Soprano fat. Yeah. Oh, I remember Vikings Nation exposed him for um, his femboy advances and basically all of his um, gay secrets publicly. It's funny because they're on the same team. Or... Yeah, it was Wild Strike. This Wild Strike King. was the gay one. I can't. I'm watching. You are I'm watching so the stupid, dude. It's 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 me. That's a literally can. Yeah. I don't know what you. Wait, mean. what are you watching on? Dude, don't call me stupid. I'm watching on the pop-up yeah, screen. It's like a little square. I don't have it. I don't have it enlarged. Wow, wow. Don't do a badass. Come on, come on. Keen versus Magic Carp. It's such an iconic matchup. Ooh. Ooh, nice knee. No, badass isn't called stupid. He calls me... Badass calls me poor. Are you poor? Yeah, just like the game. Moline bot. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the best roasts I've ever seen. With all due respect. Let's try it again. Let's see if it'll save what roast? Are you talking about where the bot goes? LO4. It does the same thing. mentions. So where am I supposed to look? Gambling. You responded. You're like, fuck y'all. 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 Really? Stop trying to rob me. <laughs> You don't have to worry about it since there was nothing but Rob according to the game. Hit Sage would be God. like. Come on, Strikey. Maybe Rob just wanted to rob your booty, and that's what it was all about. One day I will be. Oh. One day I will be a rich white man in a white suit. Oh, the blowout! <laughs> what? That was the yeah. same thing you did at Chobo. You have like this like glitch super yeah. finisher where you just randomly knock out your opponent for no reason. That's like not even your finisher, that's like a signature. Good job, bro. It's almost like a glitch. It's like you just like randomly suplex and one hit KO your opponent. They use all my resilience, so it might be that. 
You have you have a game breaking <laughs> finisher that actually defies the laws of physics. Right, ladies Can and we gentlemen, get lost, like, with this game? for a finals, we have Pantwan versus Wild Strike, two former Hell Shells. Being for the first time since Pantwan sold out and aligned with the Raisins. But. Jim, I got an idea. Huh. It is incredibly unconventional, though. Alright, I'll hear you out first, but I feel like this has got to be in the Hell Arena. Yeah, well, I want it to be a secret, so I'm going to DM this to you. Alright. You still- I don't know you're aware that Ryder and Florina are in the match too, right? Wait, we're going to be a Fatal 4-Way? Yeah, I thought that's because so, we know the, the title. No. Yeah, it's a Fatal 4-Way. It's, it's a Fatal 4-Way. And Ryder is there to defend his title. Damn. I mean, not to defend his title, Ryder is there to make sure- to like... Damn, I was hoping for a, um, Pantwan versus Wild 1-1. One one. I'm a little disappointed now. No, it's a four ways. <laughs> Damn. Boo. Nah, this is an awesome ending. Oh, shit. Alright, um, what are we doing for the stipulation? No, 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 wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna stop streaming, hold up. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna have to set up a mass stipulation real quick. All right, we got rider rules. All right, okay, fatal five way. All right, four way. Oh my bad. Yeah, bitch, don't get off. Right. I came here trying to rig it, trying to slip one of his goons in there. Yeah, slip RGM in there. Um... Yeah. Oh, RGM was under the map the whole time! <laughs> Who could Jim's plant be? Fucking broken down table sitting in the corner. Yeah, I mean, why I would I wish Jim I could do plant? that. I wish you could have people hide under the ring. Is it possible, Jim? The last thing I said? Uh, I think so, yeah. Alright, word. I'll try it. Alright, moving for weapons. Gotta get the table in there. Alright. Alright, let's do this shit. Wait, 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 do this first. You know, to be fair, Pamwon and Wild Strike both betray Hell Shells. Sure. Maybe yeah, I betray Hell oh, Shells. Oh, um, God. Well, Jim, can you do that? Well, I would never step? accept. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's weird. I would never truly accepted his role as a prison shell, and always said, uh, I never did anything. And, uh, you know, it's just, just trying to separate himself, therefore betraying them. You care more about his reputation than the hell shell's culture. Exactly. You know what? That's not even insultive. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, he admits it. He would trade the hell shells. They really like, would you rather be a good person or a pedophile? You believe you wouldn't molest a child? <laughs> Weak. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's me, Moist Critical. Today we're gonna be talking about this guy who refused to molest children, and this just, there's not enough room for these people in the future, you know? Like, people who don't molest children, it's like, it, it, it's, it's, it's just not functional for the new society we're going into. So, uh... I, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. No, well, wow. But wow, you were a part of it, though. You just didn't accept it. You, know, like, you, you pretended you weren't doing it. Oh, gosh, so... Yeah, wow, you little coward. 
He comment. He comment. I've done nothing while like helping me plan out the fucking Amy Pets a Baby Zebra shit post. Never happened. I'm afraid. Like I said, there's different amounts. How many? Stay in your lane. Wait, are you watching the intro? No. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I just said there's different amounts. Oh, hey. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I, thought I, I thought I was going to go with a couple hours ago. Remember when we were bullying SF about his, like, college ambitions? Yeah. Good times. Uh, apparently it's Yeah, well. Yeah, well. With all due respect, oh, nice. Well, right before that, I'll... <laughs> not yet, Jim. Not yet. Right before that, I was walking over, over like a, the bridge of a lake, to get to my bus stop, and this fucking guy just falling behind me, and I, I know he was like off on his own business, but it, it just made me uncomfortable because for one, it's nighttime, and two, I'm over a bridge. And three, my knife is in my left pocket. And I'm right-handed, so... 